Hey guys, you are currently watching the second part of my CSS for beginners course and in this video we will write our first CSS rule and then learn how to add CSS to HTML in three different ways. Before we begin, if you want to learn more about web development, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so when I upload a video you should get notified. If you are ready, let's get started. To start coding, firstly we need a code editor. In the past, people have used text editors like Notepad or Notepad++ a lot, but now we have more advanced code editors like Atom, Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code. Personally, I use VS Code a lot. It has nice features and also many extensions that we can use. It's completely free. So head to this website and click on the download button based on which operating system you have. If you can't find it, I will put down the installation link in the description part below. After the installation is completed, start VS Code and create a new folder in your desktop named CSS Tutorial. Then select your folder by clicking on the open folder. And after selecting it, create a new file. You can also do it by clicking on this icon here with an extension of HTML. And this will be our main HTML file. Now we have our empty page. The next thing I would like to do is to build a live server, which is a VS Code extension that auto updates the page once we make a change. So click on the extensions button and type here live server. Then you can choose one of these. I think this one is good. Exactly, I've already installed it. And you should see the install option here. Just click here and start the installation. And after the installation is completed, you should see, maybe you need to restart your VS, VS Code again, I'm not really sure, but you should see an icon like go live here under the blue part. Currently I'm not seeing, so let me restart the VS Code again. Okay, now I restarted the VS Code and I figured out what the problem was. The problem is actually you need to be inside the folder by just selecting it again. So if you don't see the go live button, don't panic and just restart your VS code and select your folder again, then it should be okay. Okay, now to start the live server, click on this go live button and it should open your browser under a localhost address. Okay, it has now opened in my browser and I split the screen into two. On the right side, you can see my browser and the live server under the port 5500 and on the left side is my VS Code editor. Now let's make a test and I am just writing here hello and we should see it on the right. Exactly, now as you can see the live server makes everything automatically and it's really good to use. Cool. Okay, now let's write our first CSS rule. But before I like to put this inside an H1 tag and so is much better. Now I would like to change its color and as you guess right, we are going to do it with CSS. The first way to do this is by using a method called inline styling. Inline style means adding CSS rules directly into HTML elements with the style attribute. And we can write our CSS rule between the codes. Since I want to change the text color, I need to write here a color, the property, and then its value, red for example. And now if we save it, as we can see, now our text has turned into a red colored text. However, in daily programming, we don't want to use inline styles because it only targets a single element instead of targeting multiple, is not easily searched and found in larger projects, and the most important reason is that we can't keep our CSS code separate from HTML. So you shouldn't prefer this way, but it's still good to know. The second way to add CSS is by using the internal CSS way. For this, we need to use an HTML tag called style tag. And between the style tags, we can write our CSS selectors and rules. Now, if we directly copy this rule here, CSS won't understand which element to target and also the editor will show an error. So firstly, I need to define a selector. And since we are going to target H1, I need to define here the H1 selector. 
and then inside the curly braces we can give it rule. So this is the second way that we can add CSS into our HTML with the internal CSS way. But it's still not perfect because CSS and HTML are still in the same file together. Actually what we like to do is to keep them separated which leads us to the third way. The third and the commonly used way to include CSS into HTML is by the external style sheets. So going back to our file structure, I need to create here a separate CSS file. And then I should copy this code inside our main CSS file and get rid of this one. Now the problem here is that the rule is gone because HTML doesn't know the existence of the CSS file yet. So we need to include this file in our HTML by using the link tag. It will be a style sheet and its type will be CSS. And finally, we should include the path of our CSS file. Now, as we can see, HTML is able to access the CSS rules and we have our red colored text back. The external CSS way is the commonly used way of adding CSS into HTML. We will continue using this way and keep adding additional new rules and selectors to this separate file during this course. There is one last thing I would like to show for this video. If we add here other h1 tags, we will see that all of them has a red colored text. This is because about the selector that we defined here. There are other types of selectors and combinations which is really important to understand and you are going to learn them in the very next video. If you find this video useful please like and share otherwise thank you for watching and see you in the next video.